It's 11 trivia questions on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be, and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out my show. It has been around for almost three years now, and we've done over 700 episodes. So if there's a certain topic you're looking for that you want to be quizzed on, you want to write down the answers, you want to yell them out, you want to use them for a class of some kind, whatever you want to do, just search that topic and Trivia with Buds on Google and you will probably come to a link on my Libsyn page where all the episodes are hosted. Check that out over on Libsyn, my podcasting host. Today's episode is on Brooklyn Nine-Nine, a show that I need to binge watch at some point because I know people love it. So if you like Brooklyn Nine-Nine, the show that moved from Fox to NBC, this episode is for you. And we've done it at least one other time on the show if you want to go back and try and find that one. We have uh, so many fun goals at the Trivia with Buds company this year in 2020, and one of them is to have 30 trivia locations. Right now we are at 17 total venues for bingo and trivia and monthly special events and things like that, and I would love to be up to 30 by the end of the year. If you run a bar, if you know somebody that manages a bar or a restaurant or a VFW hall or anywhere, a brewery, uh, a distillery, things like that, bowling alley, anywhere where you can do some live entertainment, let me know. Drop me a line, ryanbuds at gmail.com or hit the contact form on trivia with buds.com. I always throw some money to people who help me get new leads on locations. I would love to be up to 30. Like I said, I'm a little more than halfway there and business is going great, but I could always use your help. If you know somewhere that could use some amazing weekly trivia or bingo anywhere in the country of the United States, let me know and I will uh, pay you generously. That's my offer for you on today's episode. Uh, if you want to pay me generously, you can go to patreon.com slash trivia with buds and throw a few bucks for just a buck a month. You get a thank you in the show notes of every episode. Sometimes I give a verbal shout out to all those names as well. And uh, you also get a digital version of a newsletter that I send out every single month called the Buds Times, which was my old newspaper I used to do in high school. And now I do it for you, the listeners of the show. There's puzzles in there. There's a little letter from me. There is uh, usually a picture element, some kind of picture game. And then I highlight some episodes you may have missed from the last month of the podcast. So that is a fun little newsletter for just a dollar or more. On the uh, other end of the donation ladder, you can donate 50 bucks a month to get all of my slides for all my trivia nights. So if you're a trivia host and you're listening to this show and you're like, I need some content or you need some very specific stuff, I have thousands and thousands of rounds ready to go. And for 50 bucks a month, I send you a zip file of everything for December 2019 or January 2020. Whatever you need, you'll have five trivia rounds per week for that month. And they're all fact-checked, fun questions. Are there typos? Sometimes. But most places, uh, I have fixed them by the time that I send them to you. So be on the lookout for those. If you want to support the show and not get any rewards, you can do that too. Patreon.com, throw a few bucks my way, and I will show you what I can do with some money in the form of making this show bigger and better all the time. One of the newest things we added was video for every episode, and you can watch all the episodes over on YouTube, Trivia with Buds on YouTube. Hit subscribe so you never miss an episode. All right, I want to show off one thing for the YouTube audience, and that is my Weird Al Funko from my friend Jordan Zeilinger over at Wreck My Podcast. He got me this for Christmas, I believe. Maybe my birthday. I can't remember. Uh, but it is a very cool Funko, and it's got Weird Al Yankovic with his uh, accordion, and it's his classic 80s kind of UHF look. So that is one of my prized possessions, and I just wanted to show that off. All right, without any further ado, we're going to jump into 11 questions on Brooklyn Nine-Nine right now. Here we go. Here we go, everybody. Brooklyn Nine-Nine trivia. Let's see how much you know about Jake and the crew. Question number one, who is Jake's favorite artist based on his lie detector test? Question number one, when Jake takes a lie detector test on the show, who is his favorite artist? Number one. Question number two, after forgetting to hang posters for a blood drive, how many pints of blood does Jake donate himself? 
Number two, how many pints of blood does Jake donate after he forgets to hang posters for a blood drive? Number two. Question number three. When Jake sends Captain Holt an email, what did he accidentally leave as his signature? It was my blank blank. What was the signature? My blank blank. Number three. Question number four. When trying to impress Kevin, Jake says that he read an article in what famous magazine? Number four. When trying to impress Kevin, Jake says he read an article in what famous magazine? Number four. Question number five. What is the name of Captain Holt's original car? Is it Gertrude, Gertie, Cindy, or Cheryl? Number five. What is the name of Captain Holt's original car? Gertrude, Gertie, Cindy, or Cheryl? Question number six. In Boyle Bingo, who put Boyle Says Gobble Gobble on their scorecard? Number six. In Boyle Bingo, who put Boyle Says Gobble 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 on their scorecard? Number six. Question number seven for Brooklyn Nine-Nine Trivia. In the pilot episode, who were wearing the same badge number? In the pilot episode, what two characters wear the same badge number? Number seven. Question number eight. What is Jake's favorite movie of all time? Number eight. What is Jake's favorite movie of all time? Three questions left to go. Here's number nine. Which animal do they compare Detective Pembroke with? Number nine. What animal do they compare Detective Pembroke with? Number nine. Question number 10. What is Terry's favorite snack? Number 10. What is Terry's favorite snack? And the bonus question for two points. Which two members of the squad had their parents marry each other? Which two members of the Brooklyn Nine-Nine squad had their parents marry each other? Those are all your questions for today's Brooklyn Nine-Nine quiz. We'll be right back in just a second with the answers. We're back with the answers to Brooklyn Nine-Nine trivia. Let's see how you did on this 11-question quiz. Here's number one. Who is Jake's favorite artist based on his lie detector test? That would be Taylor Swift. Jake and my daughter, Annabelle, have the same taste in music. Number two. After forgetting to hang posters for the blood drive, how many pints of blood does Jake donate himself? Five pints. Almost kills him, I imagine. Number two. Number three, when Jake sends Captain Holt an email, he accidentally leaves his signature, my stinky butt. My stinky butt. Number four, when trying to impress Kevin, Jake says that he read an article in what famous magazine? The New Yorker. Number four, The New Yorker. Number five, what is the name of Captain Holt's original car? Gertrude, Gertie, Cindy, or Cheryl? The answer there was Gertie. Number five. Number six, in Boyle Bingo, who puts Boyle says gobble, gobble, gobble on their scorecard? That would be Gina. Number six, Gina. Number seven in the pilot episode, who were wearing the same badge number? That was Amy and Rosa. I have seen that episode. That's one of the few I've seen. Amy and Rosa, number seven. Number eight, which is Jake's favorite movie of all time? Die Hard. You and me both, Jake. And I know my brother Scott loves it. Die Hard. Number nine, which animal do they compare Detective Pembroke with? That would be a vulture. Also a Spider-Man villain, vulture. Number 10, what is Terry's favorite snack? That would be yogurt yogurt and number 11 the two-point bonus question which two members of the squad had their parents marry each other unfortunately that was charles and gina charles and gina all right those are the questions and answers for brooklyn 99 trivia i hope you had fun playing along with today's episode and we got one more question for you in the form of the question of the day hagen does was developed in what country Tweet me your answer at Ryan Buds or email RyanBuds at gmail.com to be eligible for a prize. And uh, that question is brought to you by Funky Monkey Designs of San Dimas, California. Check them out at fmdesignsinc.com. Your answer to yesterday's question of the day was Riggs for Mel Gibson's character's last name in the Lethal Weapon series. And your trivia team name of the day is Long Tall Sally Ride, the astronaut and the song. Long Tall Sally Ride. Use that one next time you play Team Trivia. If you want to play with me, go to TriviaWithBuds.com, click on Locations, and RSVP to any event for a bonus point on the homepage. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thanks for telling a friend, and we'll see you tomorrow for more Trivia with Buds. Cheers!